Many people don't realize the important role that vaccines play in keeping adults healthy. About 50,000 U.S. adults die each year from vaccine preventable diseases. So if you're unsure which vaccines you should have, here's Dr. Susanna Shermer with today's St. Vincent Corner Clinic report. Vaccines are important in adults for the same reasons they are in children. Vaccine pre preventable diseases contribute significantly to illness and even deaths in our society every year. So being prophylactic is, is helpful to reduce the problems. What are some of the vaccines that you would recommend for adults? We recommend annual flu vaccines, of course, but also some less commonly thought of vaccinations are pneumonia vaccines, shingles vaccines, and even tetanus boosters. You mentioned tetanus shots. How often should you receive a tetanus booster? The rule of thumb is to receive a tetanus shot every 10 years. However, if you have a laceration or an injury, you should see your physician and possibly have one sooner. At least once in your adult life, you need, instead of a regular tetanus booster, you need the combination vaccine for tetanus and pertussis. Who should get the pneumonia vaccine? The CDC recommends that pneumonia vaccination is given to adults over the age of 65. However, new guidelines suggest that we use pneumonia vaccines for anyone who's a smoker or with asthma and other chronic lung conditions. What about the shingles vaccine? Shingles is actually a reactivation of the chickenpox virus that we were exposed to as children. And later in life, that reactivates as a shingles rash, which is a, a vesicular, red, painful rash. So it's important to get a shingles vaccine and, and protect against that problem. We've mentioned vaccines for adults. How about young adults? Anything that they need to have? The meningitis vaccine is important for college students going off to live in a dormitory setting and also for military recruits and people living in close quarters. Another important vaccine for young adults is the Gardasil vaccine, which protects against human papillomavirus. This is a virus that we now know causes most cases of cervical cancer as well as genital warts. So even beginning as young as nine years of age, it's important to get this vaccine so that we reduce the incidence of those diseases. If you were vaccinated as a child, some of the effectiveness from the vaccine can decrease over time. Also, there are vaccines available now that may not have been available during your childhood. And it's always a good idea to keep a record of the vaccines that you receive. For today's St. Vincent Corner Clinic Report, I'm Jancy Sheep.